Uh, after a little bit of examination on the type of carrier that is sitting down here, I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to mount these a little more straight up and down, which is going to require me to make a lower perch down at the bottom of these axles. Still doesn't go below the original U-bolt carrier set, but it requires a little adaptation. So we're going to weld these up and then cut them. And then it's going to actually mount like that with the axle going this way. You'll see it in the next part of the video. So watch for that and we'll weld it, come out about two and a half inches and cut these. And then I'll put a piece of brace metal down at the bottom to make it as strong as this and that way I've got myself an additional uh, inch and a half to uh, additional inch and a half to make that fit. All right guys uh, this is the change that was made. This is the small shock that we have on here. Now up here in the top I have it to where I took this regular <sighs> little carrier and mounted it like so and then just cut off the excess going across as you can see back over here and the shock is now mounted and if you can see the amount of travel I have the equal amount of travel between the top of these bolts and the bottom of the frame and there is a slight dent marks in this frame so where this has hit it before um, this will stop all of that now this has got one inch more of travel than this does and this has been compressed one and seven eighths of an inch to get it to fit in here and then clamp down and down here at the bottom is the perch made down here at the bottom for it to mount on ain't none of it cleaned up yet and that shock is installed in the trailer now so you see the reason that it was put on this side is because of the swing effect of this set of spring carriers right here allow the travel on this side so it allows it to do this like that with the axle and that way this absorbs the shock and it's the reverse over here so we'll be putting the next one right over here on this side where I'll have the same thing with it mounted and my my quarter inch hold which is on this on the shock it does stick up above here about just man just about sixteenth of an inch so what I'm gonna do is when I put my wood on here uh, the rubber strips that go on here to keep my wood from uh, uh, my expansion of the wood from splitting I put down rubber strips on top of this it should get past that if it not it'll put a little small indentation in the wood and that's about it so there is your shock mount for your average little uh, flatbed trailer you can use this on cargo trailers box trailers and I've already put that little link down there where I got these at or the Gabriel opposites of them so let's take a look over here right quick and I'll measure these to show you what you're working with with travel and everything if you can't get to the links of where this is made at okay all right so the total length of what you're dealing with on this shock is a grand total of 15 and 7 eighths now that is point to point. However, you wanna make sure that you have a little bit of the shock traveling downward before you install it. So you don't wanna make your spacing exactly what this one's spacing is. In my case, this is the entire length of the shock minus the rubber pads that go on it, the isolator mounts. So we're looking at 10 and a half inches. So I set mine up at about nine and a quarter, and then when I put the rubber pads on it, that allows me basically uh, plenty of travel so if my frame lifts, it won't jerk and break the shock. Now, this frame is empty, and right now, it's going to have an additional 500 pounds of wood put on it, side framing, fenders, so it will drop down about another half an inch, but it'll still give me a lot of shock control down there a lot of shock control as a result of having these on here and when these old junky cracked up tires are removed off of here we don't want to destroy a new set of tires these tires have actually was on this trailer and they're trashed they've got chalk marks in them where they've just 
they've just just chewed themselves up so this shock is a premium item for this kind of work and as I said in the previous video don't worry about this there's a special special seal down in here a scrubber seal that will keep this clean and I've even have uh, grinding powder got all over this and I pushed it down once and it came up and it was just perfectly clean so didn't leave any residue down there either I'd say this is exactly what you're looking for for most RVs fifth wheels horse trailers I mean horses don't want to be beat up by bad tires or rough tires that's an excellent idea right there so all right that's pretty simple mount very strong these aren't designed to carry weight but they're designed to resist uh, bouncing when the tires when you're going down the highway and especially when you're empty these things will bounce all these trailers bounce all right there you go